up, everybody? I'm Tony Blando from Comics Remix, and I'm here with WWE commentary legend Jerry the King Lawler. How are you legend. feeling today? I'm doing good, Tony. How are you, man? I'm great. I've, I've been wanting to ask you this. Okay. What did you think, you, Tony, of, of WrestleMania 30? What was the highlights and what were the lowlights for you? Well, we got to talk about the, how The Undertaker lost the streak. That's huge. Was that a low light? Did you um, like it? Did it kick you in the gut, or what happened? How'd you definitely feel? a kick in the gut. It, it was really a was. shock. You're right. I mean, I felt the same way. I even said it on commentary. I felt like I had been kicked in the gut when I saw that the Undertaker had lost. But you know, when you when you go back and you look, you've got to see. Even though, I mean, he is the Undertaker. The streak was incredible. But how? You know, it's so difficult for anybody, any. I don't care if you're superhuman, to just come back after one year out and 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 and, and, and at WrestleMania, the grand stage on of them all, and face and be successful in a, against a guy like Brock Lesnar. Exactly. It's almost, it, well, it did prove to be impossible. And then how do you feel about Brock Lesnar being the guy to end it, specifically? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I don't know how I feel. I mean, wh what are you going to say? I, I, I said many times before the uh, match, I, I felt the most uncomfortable about the Undertaker streak uh, when he was putting it up against Brock Lesnar that I'd ever felt in any match in the past. Not, I mean, that just because it was Brock Lesnar and that combined with the fact that who can come out and just wrestle one time a year and continue to be successful. So, um, you know, uh, 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 Brock Lesnar, what, what can you say? I mean, you know, he's, he's capable of beating absolutely anybody. So, I mean, if there is going to be anybody to break the streak, why not Brock Lesnar? My final okay, question. Let me, you, let, me, let, me ask you, let me add one thing, though. Sure. The only thing I hate about being Brock Lesnar is the fact that he is a client of that Paul Riss, Paul Heyman, who I detest. I couldn't warm up to him if we were cremated together. I can't stand him. You see how ugly this guy has the audacity to call me and Michael Cole a couple of clowns over on uh, over at the commentary desk. You know, here's a guy who is so ugly when he's born. His doctor looked at his butt and then looked at his face and told us about twins. I mean, this guy's he's horrible. You know what? He looked like he was born into a wall at 50 miles an hour. Paul Heyman, I can't stand you. One of these days, me and you, pal, I'm gonna bust you right in the mouth. Ooh, I can't wait. Matter of fact, let me practice on you, Tony. Uh, you know what? Uh, okay. Maybe we'll just, one more question and we'll end this whole thing before I get Another my face question. smashed in. Last one. Who is the most promising young superstar on the roster today? Oh, my gosh. That's a, I would have to say, I can't narrow it down to one, but I will narrow it down to three. Uh, all the members of the Shield. I, I think that those guys have uh, uh, unlimited potential. Seth Rollins, incredible. You know, uh, all of these guys. Roman Reigns. The, all, all the members of the Shields, I would have to say, uh, those three probably are going to be big, really big in the WWE. That's a great pick. A lot of people are expecting Daniel Bryan, but the Shield, that's well, a great pick. You know what? I'm, I'm, I promise you that, um, of course, Daniel Bryan, he's a, he's a world heavyweight champion. I don't look at Daniel Bryan as being like a uh, up and comer. I mean, when you're the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, you've arrived. You're not one of these guys that are just on the horizon. And, and what do you expect from them in the future? How how much further do you go than already being the the WWE World Champion? So Daniel Bryan, of course. I mean, you know, this guy is uh, he's living his dream right now. It's all working out for him, and and I'm proud of him. I think we all are. So uh, that'll wrap up our interview here. Believe that and believe in the King. Thank you so much. Okay, left-handed shake. I love it. Yeah. <laughs>